Ciao together. Today we will install Metasploit from a GitHub repo directly. Okay, let's get started. For first we need some dependencies. Then we need to uh, do configuring the Postgres database. You can go with sudo su Postgres. Create Metasploit user. Enter the password for the new role. Okay. Now create the user database. Okay, now we need to install Ruby on Rails. We'll import the key directly. And we take it. Okay, all right. Now we go to the source. Next step is clone the Metasploit from GitHub. Next, we switch to the Metasploit directory. Then we install Ruby, Ruby Gems, and the bundler. Okay, now we install the bundler. Thank you. 
Okay, all right. Now we need to configure the database YAML with this bloat directory that's here. Framework LS CD uh, config, I think. Uh, now you see here the database YAML example. YAML example to database YAML. Okay, all right. Pseudo nano database YAML. We must change some data in the database file. Go to database and take msfdb then you go to the username and take the metasploit user that we created before with the password then you go to the entry pool it's 250 sorry for that then you go to the database to the second entry and take msfdb and the rest of the data you can delete now we start metasploit the first time for that we go in the folder directly say the meta exploit framework MSF console I'm gonna check what happened. Okay, Metasploit Framework console starting. Needs a little bit. Okay, voila. Very good. We can check the DB connection also. Okay, connection already applied. Only one connection is allowed at time. That's okay. Connected to MSF DB. Connection type Postgres SQL. All right. We are finished here. Thank you for watching and see you next time.